Hey guys, welcome back to E-Fishing. I'm Rodney. I know it's been a minute since we've been out here, but we're down here on Green River. We're gonna go see if we can't find a few fish today. So y'all hang on, let's go fishing. There's spinner bud. Today, we're gonna talk about tail spinners and fishing them on bluffs. So a bluff is a type of rounded off cliff that we typically associate with the river channel and tail spinners are a great way to target winter bass that are relating to bluffs. So a tail spinner, it's simply a cross between a jigging spoon and a spinner bait. They can range from a quarter ounce to one ounce and you can use them in a wide variety of circumstances. However, I find the half ounce model to work the best on bluffs. One thing that I found about tail spinners is that you want them to fall fast and this generates a reaction bite. And as far as colors go, I try to keep it simple. A white bait or some shad color is hard to beat. Probably the most important thing about tail spinners is that the blade spins freely. If the blade is not spinning, the bait's not working. So the gear that I like to use, well, I found that my jerk bait rod serves as a great tail spinner rod too. So my jerk bait rod is a 6'9", medium, fast action, and it's a cashing jerk bait rod. So I pair this with a dial reel, and it's like a 6'8 to 1", and I use either 10 or 12 pound line. The thing about the gear is that you don't want to overpower the bait or the fish. The hooks on the tail spinner are typically small and you can't horse a fish in with them. And if you do horse a fish in, well, you're going to risk pulling the hook out of the fish. So once you're at your bluff and you toss your bait up there, the first thing you want to do is let that bait hit the bottom. And then you want to start slowly reeling it back in. And sometimes you're not going to reel at all and you're just going to let that bait fall. You want to keep the bait on the bottom or close to the bottom and you want to keep that blade turning. The key is to keep the bait as close to the bluff wall as possible. And if the bait hits the bottom, just pick the rod up a couple inches and let the bait fall again. And try not to pull the bait too far off the wall. There's a fish. Yeah. yeah. Good. Pretty good. Yep. Yeah. That color on here. Woo! Mm hmm. He done ate it up. Mm hmm. You got tweezers up here? Oh. Mm -hmm. Get mine out. He choked it. They do like that little spinner. There we go. Oh, that's a nice little spot. Look at him. Huh. So one thing that's important to do is that if after you catch a fish or you've been fishing a while and been bouncing that thing around in the rocks, is to check your line. Because if you're fishing that 10 and 12 pound test line, it's fairly light. And it doesn't take much of a neck in it and well you might just get heartbroken so make sure you retie check your line and catch a few fish one thing you can do is to imagine the contours of the bluff that's exposed out of the water so look at those things and kind of see how what the terrain is that you're fishing and some bluffs are sheer walls while others have broken rock on them and one thing you want to look for is if your bluff has little ledges on it. And you can see those right here. And these little ledges oftentimes are places that the, that the fish gang up on. Them. And it may be in 10 feet, it could be 20, 25, 30, or 40 foot. You just have to find them. So typically I find that with a tail spinner, the bite is while the bait is falling. But sometimes they'll bite it when you just first pick it up or it's at the top and you're starting to let it fall back down. And those bites, they can be a hard strike or they can be real subtle. And the only indication that you have is a slight tick in the line. So you have to pay attention and watch that line for any slight indication of a strike. And you see it move a little bit, set the hook. Because hook sets are free. Okay. I sure do. That's a good fish. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Yeah, boy. Might be. That or it's a big smallie. 
got to do it anyway, I can try and come up and bolt. Big small mouth. Uh, is it? Big well, large mouth. Big fish, whatever it is. There we go. That's better. How about that. On the tail spinner. On the tail spinner. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> What's your finger? Oh. The hook's gonna get you. You got the flowers. There we go. Woo, how's that? There we go. All right, guys. There's a good two and a half to three pounder. Oh, let's let you go. Stuck his finger up his butt. It's for some reason that like I don't know how it does it, but that hook will get like in that blade. I don't know how. To... There we go. Woohoo! Begging. Oh, hey, take a picture and send it to Geo. Tell him we're catching the biggins now. <laughs>